Windows 10 has a great feature in its search capabilities. This is denoted by the search icon next to the start menu in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. When you click on it, for example, if you want to find a particular file, I know that I have a script called restart, but it's not showing up when I search for it. You can also search for emails or particular files, movies, pictures, so on and so forth. If they don't show up when you type them here, one of two things is going on. Either your index is corrupt or the folders where you've stored your files are actually not part of your index. So how do you get into your indexing options? You can open up your control panel and here's the indexing options that you can click on. Or the other way is just click on start and begin by typing index. When you see indexing options pop up, there it is on the screen now, check the folders that you have in included in the indexing options. For example, if you want to search for email, your email program needs to show up in this list. Now, I know that the scripts that I have, it's not in this list. So you can click on Modify, expand your C drive or whichever drive all your files are on, and there's my scripts folder there. So I can include that now in my indexing options. Click on Advanced at the bottom, and here's the things that you want to keep in mind on this screen. You can index encrypted files, or you can treat similar words with diacritics as different words. Now, what diacritics are, let me just bring up my on-screen keyboard here and look at the alt characters. All of these characters that are above particular alphanumeric characters, such as the acute, the grave, the Karen, the tilde, those are what are called diacritics. So if you type in a different language, such as French or anything that uses, uses a diacritic, make sure you either check that on or off depending on your needs. Now, if your folder was included in your indexing options, but you're still not finding the files, it means that your index is actually corrupt. So here, Microsoft has included an option in the troubleshooting section where you can delete and rebuild your index. Just click on rebuild. And depending on the folders you have, depending on how much email, it could take a long time to complete this. So just click on OK once that's done and let it fly ahead and it'll show you the indexing progress. Once it's done, then you can start typing for your searches again to see if it'll show up for you.